We are still watching that disturbance in the Caribbean, which is moving into the Gulf, will likely turn into something. Just what, though, we don't know yet, but we have watched the chances for development go up every day this Eric Paulson, thank you for joining us. The latest thinking is there is an 80% chance that this disturbance will develop into something, possibly a tropical depression or maybe a tropical storm. And Chris, while there are still a lot of unknowns, we do know that most of us will see rain this weekend. Just where and how intense is the big question. And that is the big question for this because we don't exactly know where the showers and thunderstorms are going to form. All we do know is that we're looking at quite a bit of rainfall headed our way for the entire Memorial Day weekend. And at times, some heavy soaking rains still looks like the bulk of the heaviest rain. And I'm talking about the five to seven plus inches still looks to stay more to our east. But uh, that uh, greater amount keeps getting a little closer and closer to us, just depending on how the computer models run. Right now, again, this is a system that is not very well organized center of if there is any circulation still over land convection kind of kind of coming in waves and we'll detail this coming up in just a second. But as we just mentioned before, it does have an 80% chance of developing into either a depression or a weak tropical storm in the next five days in the next two days, a 40% chance. But remember, this system still is uh, encountering some very dry air. We've been detailing that and also the fact that the center of it is on land. It's not going to do any formation at the moment. This is the latest hurricane seasonal forecast from NOAA, Colorado State. Those are the first numbers you see. NOAA is going with basically near average or maybe slightly above average with 10 to 16 name storms, five to nine of those becoming hurricanes and of those one to four becoming major hurricanes. So that's what we're looking at for our hurricane seasonal outlook. Again, we may be starting that season a little earlier if uh, this does develop before uh, we get out of the month of May, which would likely happen. We're also looking at some rainfall around the area and we'll kind of detail that in your pinpoint forecast coming up in just a few minutes.